大家都有这份呃，啊没有 ，OK。一，啊中哈We're just fixing the temperature. It's quite hot, isn't it? It's quite hot in here. So we're just trying to bring the temperature down. Thank you, Marcus. <coughs> Is it okay, Marcus? Is it coming? Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you. Just feel a bit hot. <laughs> um, these robes are designed for the Himalayas. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you feel refreshed today. You did such a long day of Dharma yesterday. So I hope you got some good sleep and uh, uh, for the practices today, yeah. Um, uh, so uh, we're going to uh, do the sadhana today together. We're going to do the uh, Chinarizic sadhana in the Vajrayana way. Yeah. Uh, and I just, uh, um, I mentioned uh, yesterday of the um, teachings on Buddha nature, which I know for some people was something they weren't so familiar with. And so I thought I'd just clarify that because uh, it's really quite important from a Vajrayana point of view. 所以我想说今天啊，谈经一下，因为这呃《金刚乘》里面这是一个很重要的题目。Or even from a Mahayana point of view, and many of you are studying in the Mahayana path, isn't it? 所以大所以大乘的呃教学里也是非常重要的。So uh, when we talk of Lam Rim, the gradual path, the gradual path of Mahayana, I think you've heard heard this term, yes? Yeah. So we have to know it's a path from where to where. It's a path, right? It has a start and an end. Uh, um, so a lamb rim text, such as Gampopa's Jewel Ornament of Liberation, as I said, we'll start from the primary cause. And the primary cause is Buddha nature. And at the end of the path of all the trainings, all the parameters, all the Bodhisattva Bhumis, all the levels, the result is 
realized Buddhahood. It's the full realization of Buddha nature. So, Lam Rin, the Nancy Jing, when you, uh, he was a Gampopa, the, uh, Jing, when she, uh, Chong Woman, the Naga, Zui, 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 and you know, we talked last night about seeing yourself clearly, uh, seeing the preciousness of this opportunity you've been given. And from a Mahayana or Vajrayana point of view, uh, seeing yourself clearly involves having understood the presence of Buddha nature as the primary cause. So of course, many, many conditions and practices and methods are necessary to achieve Buddhahood. Uh, so uh, that's well described in the text, the importance of teacher, the, uh, the role of karma, uh, the uh, knowing from a teacher the methods, etc. Uh, you know, this is, <laughs> this is all in this long lam, lam rim path, and it will differ from uh, sentient being to sentient being. You know, what obstacles come, what opportunities flower, what karma ripens, it will just... Uh, differ, but the uh, uh, possibility in sentient beings, they have the primary cause, and then it's just a question of that, um, the exact playing out of that uh, path to Buddhahood. Farmen, uh, not uh, 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 so if you haven't uh, been clear on this point, uh, maybe this is something from our retreat time you might want to look into um, and investigate. I'm just going to read you a few lines from Gampopa on this primary cause, the truth of Buddha nature. Yeah? And poor Ray is going to have to <laughs> translate without warning. I'll do it slowly, eh? Uh, so uh, Gam uh, Gampopa uh, was the primary student of a very famous Tibetan master and yogi called Milarepa. You may have heard of Milarepa. So he is uh, one of his primary students. Uh, so Milarepa, uh, Gampopa is Milarepa's uh, uh, And uh, he, he actually was a medical doctor and he uh, experienced at quite a young age the death of both of his children and his wife. Uh, so remember last night I talked about sometimes the difficulties and the sufferings of samsara 
are a uh, become this extraordinary energy that allows us without distraction to turn our mind to dharma and in a very huge way gampoba is an example of this um 昨天我们讲到说Okay, so at the uh, here is his writings. We need to attain unsurpassable enlightenment by freeing ourselves from the confused state of samsara. We need to attain unsurpassable enlightenment so remember this one sentence explains to us our possibility, our purpose, and also the most compassionate thing we can do for ourselves. Yeah? 所以这经文描述了我们的潜能和我们的宗旨。We need to attain unsurpassable enlightenment by freeing ourselves from the confused state of samsara. You can read again. <coughs> Repeat. The whole sentence. 我们, 我们得, 呃, 得到无上的, 呃, 觉悟, 要, 呃, 解脱自己, 从这个, 呃, 迷糊的, 呃, 轮回, kind of imagine all the Buddhas up here going, yes, 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 listen, listen. Okay, so the next sentence is, uh, but is it possible for inferior persons like ourselves to achieve enlightenment even if we make the effort. So now some doubt is coming, right? Kashi,我们这些次等的人呢,如我们自己,真的可能得到觉悟吗? And Gampopa answers this doubt. Why wouldn't we attain enlightenment if we made the effort? All sentient beings, including ourselves, already possess the primary cause for enlightenment, the essence of the well gone one. Uh, so that's the Buddha. That's his answer. Gampopa de Huyina just. 一切有情众生，包括我们自己，都已经有了最主要的呃成果的那个因，最主要的因，那就是我们的佛性。So it says in the King of Meditative Absorption Sutra, this is a Mahayana Sutra, the essence of the one well gone one pervades all migrators. All that's all. You remember I said last night. The word for a sentient being is a goer, one who's going, who's traveling, who's traveling again and again. So the essence of the well gone one pervades all uh, migrators. I'll give this to you in a minute. The small Parinirvana Sutra says all sentient beings have the essence of the thus gone one. The ornament of Mahayana Sutra uh, again says... Uh, says the same thing. So I'm just emphasizing here that it, I think it's very important to study this because this is the um, uh, primary cause to see clearly. 
and to uh, cultivate, the, you know, through the path of all we're doing, we're clearing, 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 so that the primary cause of Buddha nature can completely blossom, completely expand, blossom in a pure way, which is the meaning of Sangha, it's the meaning of Buddha. That's the meaning of the word. So it's Nayo So why am I emphasizing this? I am emphasizing this because um the greatest suffering is not knowing this. So if you look in your text on page three, when we look at the profound uh, definition of bodhicitta, uh, the wish that yourself and all beings achieve enlightenment, Page three. Uh, yeah. So this year. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, I'll go. Okay, so, <laughs> we'll look uh, at these lines, yeah? Mm. So this is exactly what these lines say. And it's the not understanding this, which is the great suffering that requires compassion. So it says, being's own nature is Buddha itself. That means what has Gampopa has described. The presence of Buddha nature pervades all beings. Here, being's own nature is Buddha itself. That's what that means. But not knowing it, they wander in illusory samsara. So this is the great ignorance that we are seeking to uh, clear away. Oh, sorry. This is the great ignorance we are seeking to clear away, not knowing, mm-hmm. not uh, knowing so, the uh, so, presence so, of the nature. So, 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 So Buddha was definitely would definitely so this this profound misunderstanding, profound misunderstanding which causes suffering is this uh, deep definition of the need for compassion from uh, towards ourselves and all sentient beings, yeah. <laughs> It's not difficult to understand. Just look at the world. You listen to the news. And look at the actions of beings, the harmful actions of beings. 
啊，一些呃其他其他众生所做的呃伤害性的的的的业。You know, not realizing the、uh, uh, the presence of the Buddha pervades them, not realizing this, and therefore remaining、uh, caught in samsara. They are not aware. They cannot see their own Buddhahood, and they are still in the samsara. You know, this is the truth of suffering, isn't it? And it's profound. 所以这是苦的一个主要的呃呃真理，这是很呃深奥的。嗯、hmm. ，So it says for those to overwhelming compassion, for those beings caught in that way, in that level of misunderstanding, I generate the bodhicitta aspiration and enter the profound path. Um, so, 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 Sorry. And to realize our Buddha nature by bringing it to complete fruition. Ah, and then see, uh, just see our own nature and bring it to complete fruition. Ah, and then see, uh, Um, just take this possibility on board. Take、uh, this way of of of、uh, seeing your own situation on board, because it's really transformatory. If you if you haven't uh,、um, been able to imagine this as a possibility、uh, within your own being, your circumstances, then please take this on board.、Mm. 嗯，啊，对对，所以这看啊，这自己的佛性的潜能，就啊，如果你啊，就是尽量就可以的话，就想象或者呃呃认认知自己的佛性。嗯。And so the o、uh, so the uh this is really important to understand from a Vajrayana point of view. 就是很呃需要很关键的要要要了解的，从从金刚乘的角度来看。Because remember, from a in a Vajrayana sadhana， 在一个金刚乘的呃成就法。Uh, we practice as if the results are already here. We practice as the mind of compassion, the seed the seed of compassion in Buddha nature, as if it has arisen. Yeah, that's the way we're practicing. Yeah, so there's a, such a strong link to、uh, the teachings on Buddha nature. So we are practicing the Buddha nature. 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 呃，看到佛性是那么息息相关的。Yeah. Okay. Any questions on that? Any confusions? 有问题吗？有什么不明白的 ？Yeah. All right. <coughs> Good. So,、uh, When we do the when we do the、uh, sadhana、uh, today, I'm going to lead you through it. When we、uh, repeat the mantra of compassion, I don't know if it, we need to have our pictures up here.、Uh, when we uh, uh, use the mantra of compassion, Om Mani Padme Hum, like any other method,、uh, 
for stabilizing the mind. Uh, the mantra is just one method. And uh, yesterday we talked about many other methods like counting the breath, keeping your attention here. There's many, many methods like this. Yeah, mantra is one of these methods. So, and these methods are used to stabilize the mind. And mantra, the word mantra means protection for the mind. Mantra uh, what would we need uh, protection from? Uh, uh, what would we need protection 为什么? from? What do you think? This is the interactive bit. <laughs> 所以法, 法生, 我们的心为什么需要保护? What does your Buddhist training tell you? We need to protect the mind from. It's not a trick question. I'm not being mean. <laughs> they, they think it's a trick question. It's not a trick question. What, what might we need to protect our mind from? <clears throat> no idea. Holy moly. So there's many things we can think of, but you might well want to think of the five hindrances or the five mind poisons, yeah? So, uh, the things that poison the mind. Obviously, we want to keep protect ourselves from being poisoned, protect the mind from being poisoned, yeah? <clears throat> so you might say anger, you might say greed, jealousy. You might also say sleepiness, slothfulness that was mentioned. Steve, I think you have the need to protect the mind from... Sleepiness, yeah? And we need to protect the mind from doubt which is such a big uh, conceptual, uh, conceptually driven occupation, doubt, 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 doubt. Like the doubt that Gampopa says here. Uh, is it possible for an imperial, inferior person like m myself to achieve enlightenment? It's a doubt, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so mantra is particularly useful for protecting uh, protecting the mind. So yeah, but whatever method we use to uh, stabilize the mind and to protect it, whatever method we use, so, 不管, 不管我们用什么方法来保护我们的心, uh, we, we need to be aware of um, what's happening. We need to be aware of what's happening. This is awareness of what's happening. So we we don't want to be too tight, but we don't want to be too sloppy. Okay. And actually both breathing and mantra are very repetitive. So uh so they provide a great opportunity to become distracted. 
，所以有很多机会的啊、呃，容易分心。So we have to be aware of that when we're using them as a method, because you know, all money for me, all money for me, all mind over here, mind over here, pizza, 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 all money for me, all money, pizza, 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 all money. My my speech can say something, and my mind can be right over here because I know it now. It's six syllables. I said it a thousand million times. Yeah, I wandered off completely, right? 所以我们得知道，我们呃，我们的得清楚知道这一点，说我们很容易分心，因为它那么那么的重复性。所以我们在这边念啊、呃、六字真言的时候，我们可以想到旁边有披萨，可是呃，心的就已经散了，所以得得留意这一点。The same with breathing. Breathing doesn't get very fascinating. It's basically breathing in, breathing out. Yeah. And you are very used to breathing and doing lots of other stuff. <laughs> so, 气气息也一样，来来去去都是吸气呼气，所以呃也没有没有什么不同的东西，没有什么不同的变化，所以很容易就分心。Uh, so when we uh, when we use mantra in this sadhana, 我们在这成就法用这个呃咒语的时候。啊。What I often say to my students is, uh, uh, you, you, home, 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 home. "When you realize your mind has gone to pizza, yeah." 如果你发现你的心已经到披萨那边去的时候 ，then you go back a beat. 你你念珠就回一个一一颗珠。So you really realize, yeah, yeah. Just to sharpen the, otherwise the awareness gets very sleepy, you know. Um, so I think this can be quite helpful method for people using mantra. So, uh, 用我们用咒语的时候，这可能是一个很呃很有帮助性的一个方法，就是一旦你发现自己分心了，就呃回一一颗珠。You know, mantras, sacred syllables, said over hundreds of lifetimes by many, many beings. Many enlightened masters. So these are sacred syllables, and we have to re remain with them, uh, remain with them cleanly, uh, purely, and uh, by remaining with them, uh, protect the mind from the uh, anger, greed that's circling. Yeah. So these these, uh, uh, 咒语的这些字母呢是很很神圣的。啊、呃，很很多很多呃，很多呃呃，就是很多上师，很多呃觉悟的呃众生都都用于这个这些字母来保护心啊、呃，保护心呃，就是保护从从保护啊、呃、那个心从这些呃不同的心毒啊、呃、恨啊、贪啊、嗔啊等等。嗯。Okay, and just to remind you here, we have、um, the、uh, mind of compassion, the completed mind of compassion. T to help us, it's been given a form. Yeah, it's been given a form like the Buddha took a form to appear in the world. It's a form to help us progress along the path. Yes, this is a method. We're using this、uh, representation. Of the mind of compassion, which is none other than our own、uh, potential, none other than what is、uh, in the Buddha nature that we've spoken of. Yes, and we're just given it a form here to help us progress. Yeah. So, 完整啊、呃、圆满的啊、呃、慈悲心呢，我们给予它一个形来帮助我们啊啊、呃呃，就是。观想这个这这那么广大的这个慈悲心，我们给他一个代表，一个形象，啊、呃，帮自己啊、呃，就是呃发看也看到自己的潜能，就是因为这慈悲心，就就是我们自己自己身内呃我们自己的潜能。So, um, uh, if you uh weren't here yesterday, or you feel a bit sleepy in terms of the form that we're using to connect. With our the compassion of our Buddha nature, then just take a moment to be clear about this, because you know you're going to visualize this, aren't you?、Uh, so take a moment to to、uh, 
uh, get a feeling. It doesn't have to be perfect in any way, but just uh, remind yourself of um, the method by which we're going to connect to that uh, Buddha nature. 所以如果你们昨天不在的话呢就看一下这荧幕上的这这观音形象因为我们得观想这观音在我们头顶上这是这个这方法呢去通过这个这个观想这个形象来来跟我们的慈悲搭个联系加上如果这些细节不重要所以
connected. It doesn't matter if they're still in bodily form. So, 不管他们还还在是吗，还是不在是，因为呃有那个呃这姻缘的这个这个关系啊，加上如果可以是呃复杂的关系，或者是呃就是简单或者复杂的姻缘都可以。So you're doing this now, yeah? You're on the right side. On the left side, it's the female figures who are most karmically close to you in this lifetime. So, uh, 左边呢就是呃一一些一些一切，呃，就是女性的，都都都跟我们自己有呃姻缘的呃女女性众生。呃 ，then around you, all around you, and bring to mind your acquaintances, friends, maybe work colleagues. Uh, just they're uh, coming in your awareness all around you. Yeah. 是慢慢你在你的意识中，啊，你的周围都是你的啊朋友啊、同事啊等等。And then you can just begin to expand the mind. Uh, we say uh, sentient beings are limitless. Yeah. So you just get this sense that they are limitless as the sky. So they're just most of them you didn't meet in this particular lifetime. On and on and on and on. 所以你慢慢的扩大你的意识，就是呃那个有其他，因为无有无边无尽的那些众生，所以你把意识扩大，很多都我们自己可能这世都不会见面的。And of course, the creatures in the earth, the rivers, the insects, the birds, all, all of, all of them that take different homes in different places. 我们也呃在我们的意识中。呃，在土地里啊，和啊，呃，不同的众生，呃，昆虫、鸟啊，各种各类的众生。And then, uh, finally, you bring straight in front of you anybody that you are having some struggle with in this lifetime. 所以，呃，在你面前呢，任何你这这人生很呃比较困难的因缘的，只是呃跟有执着摩擦的那些。呃，那些人呢，就在我们的前前面，正前方。You sit them down close to you, just here, in close to you, in front, just in front of you. 你请他们坐在你面前，呃，靠近你。These are all the beings we are doing this sadhana for, yeah. 就是为了这这一这全部的众生，我们所刚刚呃呼唤就想象的这些全部众众生，我们为他呃修这个成就法。So now we are in the right place to start the sadhana, and uh, I uh, I will talk you through it. If you wish to, you can keep your eyes closed. But if you find the hindrance of sleepiness is coming, then maybe just open your eyes for a few minutes and remind yourself of all the beings that you're doing this practice for, because when we sleepiness comes, somehow we we also Close in, uh, close in. Uh, so, uh, just do that if you need to. So, guide yourself like that. See if the hindrances come. Yeah. 试着引导自己，然后是说，如果你呃觉得沉睡的话，就可以闭开啊，开着你的眼睛，然后再再是呃继续。对。So,、uh, I think I just guide you through it. You can look at the text, but it may get a little bit confusing. So,、um, if you feel more comfortable, I'll just、uh, just guide you through it. I think it's best. Okay. Ah,、uh, so the master will will guide us. Ah, so we don't need to focus on the text. Okay. So, any any questions before we start? Ah, we start before we start. Ah, we start before we start. Ah, we s t 哦、oh, ，What about those uh um sentient beings that we cannot see? So do do we imagine the space or? We just imagine we just imagine their presence. The majority of beings we can't see. In fact, we in this lifetime we only see with our eyes actually a very small, very minute amount of the beings that are there, right? And some beings we definitely can't see with our eyes. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, we with、uh, with our heart, we can、uh, touch every being. Yeah, if 
not, it's not just about who we can physically see. Yeah? yeah. Is that all right? So, um, um, so she, she's visualizing it as an empty, empty space, but knowing the presence is there, right? because they have, no, they have no form. And uh, visualizing them as an empty space amongst the other sentient beings. Uh, yeah, I mean, any being which is not enlightened remains in samsara. Uh, we are doing the practice of compassion, knowing that these beings, ourselves and other beings, currently are suffering in samsara. So we are coming from realizing that, yeah. So it, as long as you, um, through saying it's like emptiness, as long as that means somehow you you lose the strength of your of the importance of your compassion for these beings that must be there yeah that makes sense. So, 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 is everybody comfortable sitting? We've been sitting for a bit. Do you need to stretch your legs before we start or anything like that? You need to sit like a Buddha now, yeah? You need to sit uh, in a chair. If it's more comfortable for you, please don't get a dead leg or something like that. Uh, sit in a chair if it's best for you. The spine must be upright. And the, the lower part of the body just needs to be uh, stable. So you can sit on a chair. There's no shame in sitting on a chair. Uh, um, we have to sit appropriately for uh, practice, yeah? So, it's very important to do it for a while, because we are doing it now, we are just doing it for the sake of the Lord. So, if it's not comfortable, we need to do it in the way, it's not a problem. We don't feel bad. So, it's very important to do it for a while, and then the body will stop, and then it's okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. We saw a nice statue of, do you remember we saw a nice statue of Maitreya Buddha sitting, isn't it? Just sitting just like Kathy. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, once I was asked to come to a hospital to uh, somebody who was totally paralyzed after a mountain accident and they were totally uh, flat. They could not move any part of their body. And uh, uh, I said to, oh, sorry. Uh, I said to a person who was just like this, who was just like this, who was just like this. I said, how am I going to teach Chen Rizik to this person? You know, Chen Rizik is like this, we're sitting like this. And, uh, but he said, no problem, you just uh, do it completely in your in your mind, yeah? Uh, so we were talking about how we can teach him to do this, but he can't do it. So sometimes we have to be skillful just to the circumstances of our, you know, of our body. Uh, so um, be skillful uh, if you find your body uh, doesn't sit easily like this, then please use a chair or be skillful. 根据你自己的个人情况,给自己方便。Okay, no other questions? Steve, you alright? Yeah? Okay, alright, great. So just uh, once you're sitting, uh, relax, uh, take a few breaths just to settle, settle down, bring the prana, as I said on the first night, bring the prana from the upper part of the body, agitated, just bring it down now to this area below uh, the bed, your button. Uh, 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 
And again, imagine all those sentient beings around you that we spoke of. And bring to mind in this very space. Uh, in front of you and above you. The Buddha. For. Uh, wisdom, uh, the form of Dharma. And the noble Sangha, which is the Bodhisattvas. And uh, in the center in front of you, Chenrezig, the completely perfected mind of compassion. 在你面前就是关心,就是最完整的慈悲心。One extra sentient being wants to join our practice. So now we are going to most sincerely take refuge in uh, these elements. 所以现在我们最诚恳的心归于这些三宝。uh, so I'll say the words, but you from your heart, you take refuge now, yeah? So to Lama and the Noble Lord of the World, Chen Rezik, I pay homage. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, the infallible ones. To Chen Rezik, the embodiment of the Triple Gem, I and all sentient beings of the Six Realms, Take refuge until the essence of enlightenment is achieved. For Fa Sun, Wu Xia the Sun Bao, Xiang, Guan Shin Pu Sa, Sun Bao the Juti, Zi Jing, Wu He Liu Dao Zhong Shen, Gui Yi Sun Bao, Zi Zi Wu Zheng Wu Zhen Di. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Noble Sangha, the Infallible Ones. To Generesic, the embodiment of the Triple Gem, I and all sentient beings of the Six Realms take refuge until the essence of enlightenment is achieved. For Fa Sang, Wu Xia the Sun Bao, Xiang Guan Xing, Sun Bao the Juti, Zi Jing, Wu He Liu Dao Zhong Shen, Gui Yi Sun Bao, Zi Zi Zheng Wu Zhen Di. To the Buddha, Dharma, and the Noble Sangha, the Infallible Ones. To Chen Rezik, the embodiment of the Triple Gem. I and all sentient beings of the Six Realms take refuge until the essence of enlightenment is achieved. For Fa Sun, Wu Xia the Sun Bao, Xiang Guan Shi Ying, Sun Bao the Ju Ti, Zi Jing, Wu He Liu Dao Zhong Shen. And now we generate the profound bodhicitta. Being's own nature is Buddha itself, but not knowing it, they wander in illusory samsara. For those to overwhelming compassion, I generate the bodhicitta aspiration and enter the profound path. Beings own nature is Buddha itself. But not knowing it, they wander in illusory samsara. For those to overwhelming compassion, I generate the bodhicitta aspiration and enter the profound path. Zhongshen 
，出于无比慈悲，我发起菩提心的愿望，并踏上深邃的修行之路。Being's own nature is Buddha itself, but not knowing it, they wander in illusory samsara. For those to overwhelming compassion, I generate the bodhicitta aspiration and enter the profound path. 众生本性即是佛，然而因不自知，便在幽妄的轮回中徘徊。对于这些众生，出于无比慈悲，我发起菩提心的愿望，并踏上深邃的修行之路。So now, take your attention to the space about a foot above your head. So, now we focus on our head about a foot above our head. Remember that we are going to cultivate seeing in the way of appearance, emptiness. We are now developing our awareness of the way of appearance and emptiness. Well, we will begin、uh, with the lotus seat, the white lotus seat, which is free from any wrongdoing. We will begin by thinking of the white lotus seat, without any wrongdoing. Without any wrongdoing. Without any wrongdoing. Without It is shining and totally pure, shining one foot above your head. Is ah, very, 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 very Uh, At the center of the moon disk is the white seed syllable, Hui. 其中有个白色的种子字 Hui. Just imagine the upright white. Shining、uh, figure. If you can't imagine Hui, just imagine something which is pure and white and shining atop the moon disk. If you can't imagine Hui's letter, you can imagine a very pure, very shining being on the Hui's side. Due to the love within the Hui, the Hui's love. A light naturally shines to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas making offerings. The light, the Hui, this love, shines out the light, shining the Buddha Bodhisattva. And so the Buddhas naturally shine the light back in the form of blessings into the Hui. The Bodhisattvas put this light to their merits, their virtues, their virtues. And this blessed love can now shine as compassion out to all sentient beings. This love that has been blessed by love, now we can spread to all living beings. And the light shines back from all sentient beings into the Hui. This this white light, this light, now from all living beings shines into the Hui. And the Hui transforms into the complete form of perfect Chenrezig sitting above your head. This Hui 呢就完整的变成观世音的身形，安在我们的头顶上。The Chenrezig is there, a clear, like a rainbow, appearing yet not inherently existing. 观世音呢，就在就呈现，就如一一道彩虹，像是在那边，可是不存在
you can see the compassionate, stable face of Chenrezig. The shining white body. And the four arms. Two held at the heart. The left holding a lotus flower. The right hand holding a crystal mala. Feel the perfected presence of compassion above the crown of your head. And now you're going to invite this perfected compassion to enter your being and you are going to transform into Chenrezig. So you can imagine Chenrezig now uh, dissolving into a sphere of light. This small sphere of light is going to enter through the crown of your head, go down your central channel and dissolve at the space of your heart. And now we have the transformation to the non-dual view. For the benefit of beings, you must have full confidence now. In the presence of Chenrezig. In the center of your being is Chenrezig. There is a moon disk at the heart. On this moon disk sits the upright syllable, the white hri. Surrounding it like a prayer wheel. Standing upright is the six-syllable mantra of compassion. Om Mani Padme Hum. This mantra is circling now, beginning to circle clockwise around the Hri in the heart. It's in the form of light. And again, this light spreads outwards, offering to all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in limitless space. And the blessings of the Buddhas return back to the Hui and to the mantra circling in the heart. The mantra now so powerful, the light shines down from the heart to all sentient beings. Clearing the sufferings of all sentient beings. Creating in them a natural state of joy. And 
and this joy in the form of light returns back to the mantra Om Mani Padme Hum. This joy, this happiness, is transformed back to the form of light in Om Mani Padme Hum. So, continuing in this way, with the mantra in the heart turning and shining, sending light out to Buddhas and then down to sentient beings to free them. Now we begin to rest our mind in the mantra of compassion on many Pemi Hom. And so you can use your mala beads as I instructed previously. Sitting as Chinrizik.
So now, any appearance in your mind, any appearances of outer form, of sentient beings, they all dissolve into light. This sphere of light gathers at the crown of the head. This sphere of light travels down to the heart center. And all appearance dissolves. And you rest your mind. In a state beyond thought or description.
So you awaken once more as Chinrizik for the benefit of all sentient beings. And we dedicate the merit of this practice on page 14. Uh, to this virtue, may I quickly accomplish the great Chenrezig without leaving any sentient beings behind, may all be established in the state of generosity. Ah, good. So if you haven't done a Vajrana Sadhana before, that's it in a, a simple form. Uh, uh, remember you had the refuge, the bodhicitta, the generation stage, the uh, becoming generosic stage. A mantra, dissolving, resting, re-arising, dedicating, yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, we have a Gui Fa Pu Ji Xing, and then Shen Qi, and then Yuan Man, after dissolution. So it's in generation, we generate and we become generosic mantra. Yeah. And dissolving. Then resting. Then reawakening as generosic. Dedicating. So that's the structure. Uh, I hope your legs are comfortable. Can you feel your legs? If you've lost the blood flow to your legs, please move your legs around if you're not so used to sitting. It's no problem. Just move your legs. Okay, so we will have a yeah, a short break now, I think. I can't remember what the timetable was. Um, but uh, do you mean timetable? So we'll have a um, uh, mm, mm, we'll have a short break, maybe till about uh, ten to ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. We'll have a short break until about ten to eleven, and then we'll do a little bit more before we have lunch. Lunch will be later than we thought because uh, I'm half Bhutanese. So we'll just use about about ten to eleven words. So uh, remember that in this way of practicing, 
when we arise from meditation, we still arise in the form of the mind of compassion. They're very unusual. Sorry, I missed that. Let's remember in this form of practicing, mm -hmm. when we arise from meditation, we still are in the form of compassion, generally. 所以，我们在这种呃修行呢，我们呃呃呃禅修之后呢，我们仍然还是观世音。And this is an interesting thing because I'm sure you had many experiences of finishing your meditation. 我相信你们有这种经历，就是你们完成了你们的坐禅之后。And grasping back to your ordinary sense of self. 就变回你普通的自己。And your worldly concerns. Yeah, so here we have this different way of practicing, where we arise again as chenrezig, we dedicate as chenrezig. Now, obviously, you know, as you begin to get up and go to your coffee break, gradually your clinging to ordinary self will come back, right? Of course, it will. But we're in this way. Sorry. Yeah. So this 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 meditation method is different. We are, uh. 我们坐坐禅之后呢，我们呃仍然是呃观世音，我们回向也是以观世音的身份回向。当然，我们去呃等一下休息的时候，会慢慢的，我们平时的自己又会浮现。And this is what happens, you know. Uh, gradually, then the sense that uh, uh, we are something other than our Buddha nature. We are something other than uh, generally. This this pattern will come again. Pattern will come again. Yeah, gradually. So you'll find in five minutes or twenty minutes, you'll have completely forgotten. Yeah,大概五分钟、几分钟呢，我们慢慢的、逐渐的，我们呃，与我们的佛性、与我们的观世音的本性就会脱离。习就习性，我们平时习性又会浮现。So again, this is another different skillful means of vajrayana. Yeah. 这是呃呃金刚乘的另一种呃呃方便法。More to think about. Okay, so in this mixing time now, you gradually go on your break, and uh, we'll um, come back here at ten thirty. Ten fifty, right? It's like I don't know. This is. 是啊，我们十点十哦五十分。This is ten to eleven here, right? So we've got, yeah, like you can have a generous fifteen minutes. I think. So, 大概十五分钟休息，我们再回来。Okay. Okay.
呃，不好意思，这边也是有一个报告啊，就是如果你们有问题要问呢、啊，啊、呃，你们可以尽量就是个纸跟笔，我们在这边写的，或者是在好像还有问说有 Q&A 的时候啊，尽量争取在那个时间的时候问咯。如果好像呃，老师讲 rest time 的时候，尽量给他也是去休息，或者是 lunch time 也是给他时间去去做那些这样要吃午餐什么，这样尽量不要打扰他。那个时间，那如果要问问题，可以尽量用纸写，然后他就比较方便回答。在他有人他说哦，现在 Q Q&A 有时间，你就直接问咯，好吧？谢谢。嗯。OK， good。Thank you very much for your practice. Yesterday was like the journey to Bhutan, quite arduous, quite hard work, many places you never visited before. 昨天是像呃去不丹的一个旅程，就是去到一个没去过的地方。So thank you for sticking with the journey。呃，谢谢你们呃，跟跟着我们继续这个旅程。And now today we sat together, and I think it's nice. Yeah。啊，之前我们到达了，呃，一坐一起坐是是很好。So I had some good questions in the break time. 在休息中，我有几个呃，有些很好的问题。呃、uh, ，so somebody asked me、uh, this idea of doubt being a hindrance。有些人有个人问我呃，这个疑惑呃为呃障碍。呃、uh, ，but don't we need doubt in order to explore and investigate? Yeah。说我们需要呃疑惑来。呃，检讨，然后呃呃，检讨和发现了。And it's true that it's in Buddhism we would distinguish between an unanalyzed state。我们在呃呃佛学里有会呃定义说一个没一个经过探讨参呃参讨过的状态和没有参讨过的状态。And an analyzed 呃、uh,。State, so particularly when we look at the nature of reality, we are going to go from an unanalyzed state to having analyzed it. 特别是我们在啊啊啊，那看这个啊现实的啊呃本性的时候，我们就会有啊有参考过的那个状态和没有参考过的的状态。Hmm. So we usually express it in that way, going from an unanalyzed to an analyzed state. Yeah. Um, 
so loosely you could say that definitely inquiry we need to analyze what's going on see what's going on and see it clearly 看现实，我们需要研究，需要去呃探索，清清楚的看。but that process of inquiry is usually about clearing doubts, not accumulating doubts. 那这探索的过程呢，那目的是要解掉疑惑，不是呃取取得更多疑惑。Because uh, like any hindrance, a doubt will breed little baby doubts. 就如呃一切的呃障碍，呃疑惑会生产更多的呃小小的呃呃。uh, so uh, we analyze in order to uh, gain uh, clear, to gain clarity. Yeah, we analyze to gain clarity. But sometimes with doubt, we have one doubt, and then from that doubt, another doubt is born, and then from that other doubt, another doubt is born, and then 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 we really uh then we have a then we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you have to be your best teacher here to know whether you are analyzing to get clear uh, to know whether you are analyzing to get clear or whether you're accumulating doubt. You you have to maybe guide yourself on this, I think. 这个你得就自我引导，就说你自己以自己的呃分析能力，就说呃我我现在我现在目前这样探索是增加疑惑吗，还是减少疑惑？Okay. If you have any uh, then you can ask. Now I said that the um, the bodhicitta prayer um, that we did in this Vajrayana Sadhana on page. Three. Uh, this uh, uh, this great mistake, this great misunderstanding, not uh, uh, Seeing that all beings are pervaded by the essence of uh, the Buddha. 这, 这极大的一, 呃, 呃, 误解, 就是, 呃, 不看到一切众生拥有的, 呃, 存, and therefore, mind turning, always circling in samsara, uh, looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Uh, uh, etc., etc., so tragic. Uh, so, 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 we feel this great sorrow. So when we realize this and then we practice the mantra of compassion, realizing the depth of misunderstanding, which uh, is creating so much negative karma, so many sufferings because of that. Yeah. You know, then the mantra for compassion really can become such a profound expression, something that can really move us, really change us, something can come alive in us. And uh, just as Tara was born from the tear of Chenezek, you may even be moved to tears, you know, um, particularly if you practice just with your shrine at home and in your own circumstances, you may well well find that um, in the beginning, the reality of suffering really moves you. So, the Lutzi Da Ming Zhong, uh, can guide us, uh, uh, inspire us, uh, so this 
，这慈悲心跟或者看到这这呃痛苦，有时候我们会呃流泪，就如呃呃绿度母啊，从呃呃那个那个呃关心的呃。泪中化身而来，所以从这些，从看到这些，目睹这些呃苦难，也会激发我们的慈悲心。Remember what、uh, the Buddha showed us when when he showed us his life. He showed us his life, right? He showed us his life.、Uh, he, he showed us leaving the palace of、uh, luxury and、um, woo woo. You know, I like this phrase, woo woo.、Uh, Showed us、uh, leaving the palace, and then this—he showed us this moment of seeing the reality of suffering, right? And he was so moved. He showed us. He was so moved that he decided. Think what he decided, right? He was so moved that he、uh, left his palace. He shaved his head. He renounced, and he thought. This I need to、uh, understand. This is the example that he showed to us, isn't it? This is the example that he showed to us. So I think we can remember that story also when we have those moments of being profoundly moved by the truth of suffering. Yeah. So Buddha, he, he, his, his story, 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 his 苦的真谛，激发他去呃去出家，所以一样在我们自己的生活里，我们目睹到这些呃苦的时候，遇到苦的苦难的时候，也会激发到我们的呃我们的慈悲心。I'm so proud of Ray. You know, Ray.、Uh, Ray contacted my me by email. Few how long ago was it? Four years? Five years? It was during COVID, so it's about three. Three-ish, two-ish. I don't know. I think it's about four years ago. I think COVID. We can't remember the time now. And Ray asked me to if he could interview me for a film he was making, like a little film. Yeah. So, so, 当当时啊，我就因为我啊，我的学校的呃毕业的的作品，我是我啊问啊法师，我能不能访问他？ Yeah. 做个访问。So these、uh, little connections that happen. Yeah. Little connections, and then how? Now, how did this happen? We are in Malaysia together. I'm teaching. He is translating for me. Just from that one connection, so much can grow, isn't it? Look. 就是这小这种从从一个小小的这这机缘巧缘，就有会有那么多呃呃呃不可预料的呃的的，就是今从一个小小的电邮，我们开始到今天，我坐在法师旁边啊，帮忙呃呃翻译。So yeah, incredible. Ah,、huh? so,、mm. so yeah. So we will be moved because we need to understand the profundity of suffering, right? But as practitioners,、uh, and if we look at the face of Chen Rezek, or you look at the face of Guan Yin, we look at the face of Chen Rezek, or you look at the face of Guan Yin. Uh, actually, what you see is this incredible serenity of stability. We see that it's a very quiet, very, uh, 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 very, very calm, very, very calm state. And uh, so, gradually, uh, gradually, I think、um, then you, as you practice, your mind becomes more、uh, stable. It sees the truth of suffering, truth of origin of suffering, but also the truth of the path. Away from suffering and the truth of liberation from suffering, and it kind of then it can uh, uh, it can be stable in the face of suffering. Yeah. So, through our meditation, we can, uh, like Guan Guan Shi Yin, that, uh, 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 uh,
you know. <laughs> 如果之前你没呃呃呃呃去去呃去看去参考啊参考这个呃慈悲心的转化力，或许现在你会呃领悟到哦，慈悲慈悲心有多么的变化能力。You know, I was saying to our friend here, uh, you know, we can. It's very useful to look at the life of the Buddha. Right? It's very useful to look at the twelve deeds of Buddha. Look at his example that he showed for us. Yeah. 佛陀的生历是一个很好的例子，很呃很有帮助性。时不时就就呃呃看着佛陀的的那个生命的的故事。Because you know we know the Buddha, he uh in the end, he sat under the Bodhi tree, right? And in this uh mudra here, yeah, and asked the earth to be a witness to his enlightenment, yeah. And he said, "I'm. I will not move from this place until I uh, understand the origin of suffering. I will not move, right? So there, it's a very stable. He's very stable in the face of suffering. And then he's very tested by the Maras coming to try and disturb his mind, try to disturb his mind. And as their spears came to him, uh, the power of his mind, they, they fell as lotus flowers around him, isn't it?" So something about this stability, we need the power to okay. But I will not give up. I will uh, realize the truth of suffering for the benefit of all sentient beings. This kind of stability needs also to come in time. So when we look at his example, yeah, yeah. 实际上，我们看呃，释迦牟尼坐在菩提树下的时候，他啊。呃，手就是触摸土地的那那个手印，啊、呃、呃，就是先说，知道我我呃，成果我我不离开此地，很安稳的，呃，就是呃，请呃，祈请就是土地来来证件，然后呃，当然被呃，时不时一直被心魔挑战啊，所以心呃就是呃呃那些呃魔就。丢枪啊，剑啊，而这些通过他新的力量，把它化为啊、呃、莲花。所以一样的这个例子，在我们的呃的平时生呃的生活中，我们修行中也是一样的例子。我们修像呃佛佛陀那样的安定，把我们目睹一切的那个呃障碍，把它化为啊呃修行的的的的鼓励，就是通过这个佛的安定作为我们的呃激发点。嗯。So again, if there's remaining questions on that point, you can ask. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, you can ask. Ah, so the third question is a little bit more complicated. The third question is a bit more complicated. So, at the moment, we suffer. Remember, we suffer because we cling to a sense of self. And a sense of outer phenomena as inherently existent. We are now, ah, ah, we are experiencing pain. Why are we experiencing pain? Because we are fixated on me. We, ah, we are filled with me. And, ah, we are fixated on me. And, ah, we are And from this great misunderstanding, attachment arises, attachment to things, aversion to things, and round and round we go. So, through this confusion, we make the outside as if it is real. So, we are always in a round and round circle, always spinning and spinning, and we cannot get out. So, when we quiet in the mind, again. You will find the same challenge. You will find exactly the same challenge as we find in daily life. Um, you will just think it's different because it's a mental experience, uh, which you call thought or something like that. Yeah. So, so this training, this calming of the mind, is like training and everyday life. It's actually the same. We will definitely face these different challenges. 呃呃，是是是 ，Yeah. Yeah. So you will probably um have an experience where you find things that you want to like, 
and things that you want to run away from. But that's exactly the same as uh, everyday living. So you do sometimes you will encounter some things you like, some things you want to run away from. It's like yeah, so something's happening in my meditation. I really like it. Oh, let me have a look at it. This is fascinating. In my meditation, I'm seeing a red glasses box. Oh, that's interesting. Why am I seeing a red glasses box? What does it mean? What might be in it? And so we do sometimes see a red eye. I saw a black glasses box in my meditation. It was so big. I was so it must be some ogre in here. Why why have I got a black glasses box in my meditation? Same thing, right? So, yeah, uh, uh, so appearance emptiness. So, so, so. Appearance emptiness. But how do we do that? So just gradually, gradually, gradually. To try to be aware of yourself being caught by the delicious fascination of a red glasses box. Realize what's going on. Yeah, like Knowing that you're in a dream, same thing. 对，就是啊，刚才说呃呃色跟空啊，所以留意到我们自己呃的心怎么被这美丽的这个红眼镜盒被捕捉着。Yeah, suddenly realize what's happening. Oh, that's that same old habit I've been practicing many lifetimes. This is the habit I need to liberate myself from. 所以突然就发现啊，这是我生生世世累积的这个这个呃呃坏习惯。No problem. One label. Label says red glasses box. No problem. Come back to your uh, focus. Come back to your mantra. Come back to your breath. Come back to whatever it is that you are uh, stabilizing your mind with. Yeah? So, uh, this red glasses box is a so remember, we said on page three. Interesting, huh? We said on page three, line two, not knowing it, they wander in illusory samsara. They don't just wander in samsara, they wander in uh, uh, samsara, which is illusory in nature, but they take, take to be real. Right? This is why later on you'll see some texts talk about um, the dreamlike nature of reality. So step by step, realizing, knowing, oh, oh, no, yeah. So first of all, oh, what a delicious red glasses box. Where did it come from? Why am I seeing a red delicious glasses box? Maybe it means in a previous life I was a glasses box. Maybe it implies in my next life I'm going to have bad eyes and off you've gone, right? All sorts of inventions, all based around I. 所以我们要一步一步的修行所以我们或许会看到啊多么可口多么漂亮的眼镜盒可是会想说可能我前世是个眼镜盒可是哦可能我下一辈子是眼镜会不好所以我们就参考我们这都是围绕着我呀就是一
relax, relax. 所以会那思路可能说啊，我看到这个红色颜色，哦，不要回回到原点，放松，回到原点。And then you might even feel like, oh no, relax. 所以感觉到要摸啊。And then ah,、uh, no, relax. Okay, gradually, gradually. This is a stage of practice we need to go through. It's not the end of the story, but to train the mind, we do need to go through this stage. This is our practice's uh process one of its parts. Okay. Any questions on anything to clarify from those points? Yeah, 什么要呃呃要发问要澄清的吗 ？Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. From just now the meditation session, I can imagine terrific appearance, but suddenly the feeling is so strong, and the the visualization is gone. What what feeling? Um, what feeling? What feeling? Um, it's a little <laughs> so complicated. Feeling of uh, maybe. Love and also some touching feelings is too strong, and I realize I cling to the feeling. So how to like practice, or how to? So I'm not I'm not in your mind, right? I didn't go through this. I'm just trying to understand from the words you've said. But remember that we said that we're feeling the presence of compassion. Yeah. The presence is what we're feeling, yeah. And so、um, I said we're not we're not trying we're not saying we're going to see like a like a three D sculpture of Chenrezig, right? We're seeing like a rainbow, the qualities of Chenrezig, yeah, the clarity, the love, the compassion, the form it's in is like this. But、uh, so there is this feeling element to it. And I said we need to feel it. We need to feel it, but then become very stable with the、uh, uh, with that. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like there's a problem here. For me, it doesn't sound like a problem. Do you want to say something back? Yeah. It seems like you think it's a problem. So maybe I've misunderstood. Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Wait, Jin. Help me. No, I don't, I don't think. This is a problem. Clear my doubts, Rachel. Clear my doubts. <laughs> because this is my first time yeah, to have so good, this yeah. meditation, visualization.、Yeah. So,、mm. I thought that is a is a must that we need to have this sculpture in the mind.、Mm. But when the feeling is too strong, the sculpture is gone. Just the feeling.、Mm. Okay, so maybe, it's not a problem. Is well, it? it doesn't sound like a problem.、Ah. It doesn't sound like a problem, and you're all doing so brilliantly because I know that for most of you, you never did any Vajrayana practice before. You never dealt with this way of mind training before. So,、um, but it doesn't. I think if you continue, you'll see. You know, continue. Come in my case to Bhutan. Fit in my little case to Bhutan. <laughs> <laughs> practice, practice. Yeah. So I'm not wor very worried, but. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my robe's slipping down. I think because it's hot. All right. So,、uh, any more questions? Yes, about the practice. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, what happened if、um, the 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 visualization gone because of the feeling of pain of the legs of the or the bodies? Can、yes. you change the legs and? Mm. Continue from, to visualize. Yeah, from a yoga point of view, the way you're sitting is extremely bad for your inner knee. The way you were sitting just yeah, then, yeah. you shouldn't sit like this. You're causing a tort in your knee. The, the way you were sitting there with your foot out. Do you want this more comfortable than this? Yeah, but it's really bad for your knee. 
you will end up with knee problems like that. It's causing a twist. The, your um, knee is not a rotation joint. It's a hinge joint. Oh. I've gone into yoga teacher mode now. <laughs> <laughs> <音>你的你的膝盖它它的那个关节不是不能转的，它是嗯这样前后的。Yeah, so when you sit like that, you're trying to ask your knee joint to be a rotation joint, and it's not. It won't like it in the end. So that like that, please don't sit like that. If you're going to sit like that, put your foot back, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you're putting a tort in your knee. I don't want you to have that. Do you understand? Yeah, you got it. Right? You know when you sit back like that. Let, show me what you were doing. No, no, you were sitting like this, and you had your foot out like this. Hmm. Yes. And 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 that's that. Yeah, like that. Don't sit like that. Please But don't sit like that. But this one is people pain. Yeah. And it it influences my. Yeah. So. Uh, So you do need to find a comfortable way to sit. The 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 most I mean, sitting cross-legged is one of the seven points of Varachana's advice on how to sit. Um, uh, so it does need to be stable um, and comfortable. But the most important thing is your spine is upright, right? That's the most important thing. Mm. So just adapt your legs to find a comfortable place. Use more cushions. You, you can have a cushion under your knee, right? Right now, right now it's quite high up. So you could use a cushion under your knee, or so. You can sit on a chair. Um, but that one with your foot out, please don't do that. Yeah. Now, if so, what was your question? If you feel pain, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to gen gently, gently um, get familiar. Uh, from the yoga teacher part of me, I would say don't sit with pain in your knee. If you just have some ache in your muscle, okay, but definitely no pain in your knee. And this is a very fragile joint. 对的，所以最最关键的是膝盖。从他的瑜伽老师的经验的，呃，就是说，呃，不管你怎么做，你的膝盖最最关键、最重要。所以如果膝盖痛的话，就找另外另外一个坐姿。Now you may meet very、uh, strict teachers who tell you to look into the nature of the pain and find there's emptiness there, appearance emptiness, right? They will they will tell you that to not run from the pain but to look directly at it. So, 有有些严谨的呃呃呃法师可能会跟你说啊，不要呃呃，就面对你这个痛，会去呃去探索这个痛。Uh, but I don't tend to follow that view,、uh, so I think、uh, I think it's better to look after your knees. Actually, care about your knees is more important. Yeah. So you, so if you try a few more cushions, maybe if we give him a few more cushions, can we find a way to make you comfortable? Maybe if you use a few more cushions. Yeah. Do you want to try some? There's extra. Kathy, can you give him some more cushions, then? Yeah, go and get like six more cushions. <laughs> I mean, definitely sitting with the back unsupported is、uh, more tiring for people at first. That's why, like I say, in the monastery, everybody tries to get the pillar. You know, monks, many years monks, they try to get the pillar to sit against. So, right. So, why in the monastery, many monks try to get the pillar to sit against. Right. So, why in the monastery, many monks try to get the pillar to sit against. Right. Oh, that looks better now. <laughs> Everyone's looking at the poor man. <laughs> so there was a question. So among、uh, in, in the monastery, is they allowed to to rest their backs? Everyone wants to collect. Yeah. Oh, the they want to, but they're not allowed to. Oh no, no, no. You you can. We do as and as and as prayers, right? I mean, yeah. So、oh. they can. Yes. Is it? Yeah. Because they, they, outside the chant, they, 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 Mm. Just some, no, sometimes, yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah, practice, practice at home. Uh, uh, so we just need to wait for these muscles to uh, lengthen. And, that, and that's why if you, I said the other day, if your knee is up here, above your hip, this muscle is shortening. It's actually shortening. The key thing is to have your knee below your hip level. That's the key thing. This is then this muscle is lengthening. If it's so, up, it's shortening. Do you see that? Yeah? So the key thing is to have your knee below your hip level. You have to go back to your mother and complain about the muscles that she, she gave you, right? <laughs> All right. So I think every uh, everybody has some uh, form that they are stabilizing their mind with from a beginner point of view, right? Everybody, you have your thing here. I think you're using, this lady here is using this. You're using this method also? Yeah, you're using this method. Yeah, everybody has a method they're using. What would you use for a beginner method for? You would use that as well. The what? The touch of the breath into the nostrils. Yeah. So has everybody got some way that they usually use to stabilize their mind? Some uh, form. 大家都有自己的方法, uh, 就是, uh, 大家, yeah. <laughs> I okay. Actually, lately I also found like very anxious or something like very doubt a lot of things. I use the mantra, this six syllabus yeah. mantra. I I'm, I have a one question. Is there any way that we can how to sound, sound out this mantra? Anyway, sorry, to, to sound out, uh, I mean, let's speak out uh, yeah, yeah. or read out all this mantra. Uh, yeah, you should be saying it out loud. What? Yeah, uh, anyway, anywhere, anyway. Uh, is it any way that uh, we can? Any old, any old how, in a way, says any, any it doesn't matter how we say that. The, the no, 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 it's just your heart speaking. Oh, okay. it's just your heart speaking, the sound it wants to make, isn't it? So, so there's no particular way of uh, to, to, to voice it. Sang Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think uh, small, small, big, big, quiet, quiet, big, big. No, no problem. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You know, um, uh, sometimes we do mantra. They say so. Your collar can hear it. Just the collar can hear it. Your mantra, right? You're speaking to your collar. This kind of sound, yeah? Sometimes you're high up on a mountain and there's very high altitude and your sound travels a long way. You feel like your sound can fill a valley in Bhutan, right? So do whatever, is, whatever, is, whatever helps your mind to merge with the mantra, protect your mind from the hindrances which wish to disturb your mind. Yeah, whatever helps you. Be your own teacher there. Yeah, have confidence. Yeah? Hmm. Okay? Yeah. Any other questions? So everybody has a method, right? If you're using the mantra, uh, remember I said if you feel you notice you, you're in, oh, yeah, <laughs> then, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, then you can go back one beat, right? I said that, you understood that, right? Yeah, okay, I know what I'm doing. You go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think what we'll do, we'll just have a few minutes of quiet practice using your form, yeah? And... Uh, Uh, I'm going to use the symbols, yeah? You all right, Paul? Do you need to sit in a chair? Uh, you all right? Okay, yeah, just, you know, yeah, right. 
Yeah, you've made like a mini chair, a throne. Paul's throne. This is looking great now. This is looking great now. Good, good. Progress, progress. Uh, so when you're still learning, it's hard for you to have the sharp awareness which knows where my mind is. The awareness, the muscle of awareness that knows where the mind is. It's a little dull at first, right? It's a little sleepy. You know, it's like, I only know it when it started to go here, right? So it, the, just that what happens with meditation is your, your sharpness of awareness, it grows and grows and grows. That's what's growing with meditation. The sharpness of awareness is what's growing. Yeah. So we started to go. Yeah, go for it, Ray. I forgot. Yeah. Our 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 awareness is like a muscle. It starts to be more difficult to grasp ourselves. But after practicing, our awareness will become like a muscle. It starts to be more difficult to grasp ourselves. But after practicing, our awareness will become like a muscle. It starts to be more difficult to grasp ourselves. I need to practice awareness. I'm having translator. That's what I need to practice. So, uh, so you're when you sit quietly in meditation, you are seeking to keep、uh, aware of whatever you've chosen to be aware of, whether it's the spot, the breathing, the mantra. Your wish is to remain、uh, that that you you are aware that you're with your. Practice, yeah. So, when we sit, we have to be aware of what we are focusing on. We have to be aware of what we are focusing on. We have to be aware of what we are focusing on. We have to be aware of what we are focusing on. We have to be aware of what we are focusing on. We have to be aware of what we are focusing on. We have to be aware of what we are focusing on. Oh, mindfulness.、Uh, what's the wish to remember? The wish to remember. Yeah, your, 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 where you are, where you are. Ah,、uh, 就是就是要、yeah. 要记住，最重重要的是要记住自己在做什么，在呃静坐的时候。Yeah. So, uh, when I just so just just to help you, when I make the sound, yeah, just check, just it'll just help if you've if you've got lost, it'll just help you、uh. be aware where my mind is, and you can see where is my mind. Where's my mind? Yeah. So this sound, then, is is a kind of help. Hear, if you hear this sound, then you 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 must reflect. Oh, my my heart is where? My heart is where? So every every time this sound is made, you 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 uh, is yourself is you look. Hey, my heart is where? Yeah. Does that sound alright? Okay. 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 All right. So we just do a few minutes of this awareness building practice. Yeah. So just as normal, just、uh, settle yourself、uh, in a position which is comfortable for you. Yeah. And uh, just uh, make sure the spine is upright. Uh, uh, 注意你们的脊椎是正直，挺直。And the、uh, gaze would be as if passing down through the、uh, tip of the nose. So you have this triangular, this triangular structure going on. Yeah, the different triangles. So the 视线就从你的鼻尖到你前方，就一个弄一个三角形。And first, take a few breaths to bring the prana, settle it down below the belly button. Yeah, so take a few breaths to bring it down here. 首先，先呼呃呼吸几次，把呃的气安定于你的呃呃下方肚脐那边。Okay, and then remember your chosen motivation for practice, and、uh, remember it in your mind. Ah, remember your chosen motivation for practice, and remember it in your mind. Ah, remember your chosen motivation for practice, and remember it in your mind. 
and then begin to connect with your support for practice, whether it's the mantra, counting, the tip of the nostrils, whatever it is, you begin your practice now.
Okay. So it can be very useful to do these short sessions of sharpening awareness rather than long sessions where we get kind of really sleepy and it's all a bit wish-washy, yeah? So I'd, I recommend these shorter sessions, more frequent shorter sessions than long sessions where the, the quality of awareness actually is getting tired or not very sharp. Whereas here we had a very sharp session of awareness, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, I think... 短暂的这种小一小段一小段会比会非常有帮助好过就是因为做的很长的话可能很容易沉睡所以我们现在专注的是它我们常做的数值所以经常短暂的修行可能会有利过很长的打坐 So I hope that was useful. It's the muscle of awareness that we are sharpening. It's actually not the muscle of staying uh, unmoving. It's the muscle of knowing you're unmoving that we're uh, working on. Yeah. So Train to, to be aware of whether we are. Yes, the awareness that we're training in. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's that awareness is we, uh, it's the awareness of us in uh, staying or moving. So we can be stable, isn't it? We have stable, we have moving, and we have awareness. So we are What's that? Moving? Move uh, uh Dong Jing. Pizza. Uh pizza. <laughs> Stable, moving. It, it's the awareness. It's the awareness that we are training in. The awareness. We should uh the awareness which knows stable, the awareness which knows moving. It's the awareness we're training in. So it's a yi shi chida woman uh an un Mm. And what brave beings we are to wish to train in awareness. Good, brave wow. beings. Mm. All right, any comments or questions from those just those few simple moments of sharpening awareness? 对于刚才我们的修行有什么问题吗? All fine? All right, okay. Uh, so, um, uh, on our Dharma feast, uh, we have one more session left, I think, uh, before we um, uh, close the retreat. So, uh, we have, I think, one more session from two to four. Uh, so, as it's a democracy, uh, what what would you feel would be most helpful for you? So uh, we can repeat the Vajrayana Sadhana. Uh, we can repeat it in a uh, shortened form, uh, as we've been doing. We can do it in a slightly longer form, uh, if you wish. Uh, we can um, we can do anything that you think would be helpful. Uh, we can do some study, we can, I mean, what, what do you feel you would like me to help you with uh, in the final session? So, we're study what? 
Well, we didn't study anything. They may want to study suffering, karma, oh, good nature, my time. generosity, meditative concentration. Blah, blah. I, they can choose. They can choose. It's, this is like when you have your DJ, favorite DJ. You say, "Can I have my favorite song, DJ?" Uh, so I'm just uh, because I want to be a benefit to you, uh, and I don't want you to go, "Oh, she was great," but then she made us do five versions of the Rajana Sadhana when really I wanted to do. 所以最法师最重要的，他最终他的目的是要帮助大家，所以想知道大家要要啊，我们要做什么，呃，就是要学什么，所以我们可以谈呃任何，就是所以看你们说要谈因果，要谈布施，要谈呃苦，还是要所以啊，对吧？自自助参赛，所以想问大家对什么比较有兴趣呢 ？What do you say? What do you say? 呃、uh, ，Ray 帮我翻译。好的。OK。嗯、um, ，我想要跟法师学，是在不丹，相信他们有做烟供。Oh, she would like to uh smoke offerings. Oh, you want to smoke offering? Yes, because I believe this one can generate the bodhicitta to uh how to say to all the sentient being. It's not only the I think the like the hungry ghosts. Those yeah, yeah, yeah. our friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can see. You want to smoke offering? <laughs> I love doing smoke offering. Maybe you can share more on this. So, uh, you want me to explain smoke offering practice, or we do the smoke offering practice? Because I do it in Tibetan, right? So, you want to explain? Is it theoretically, or do we do it together? Do we do it? 做呃做应该是不能，因为我们没有准备。So maybe you can explain. Okay. Ah, the how to say the benefit. Ah, the benefit. And any leave leave. Or any ritual, the ritual aspects of it. Yeah. Oh. Like the routine. Okay, maybe I share a little bit more. Like currently, I did. It's not every day. Is follow whenever that I have the time. <laughs> so night. I mean, I don't know the smoke offering from your tradition that you're doing. I oh. only know smoke offering from Bhutan, right? Yes. So I don't want to mix and confuse people here. I can only tell you from Bhutan point of view.、Uh, I have no idea how that is different in your in the Chinese culture or the Mahayana culture, where you probably have your own tradition of smoke offering, isn't it? Uh, basically, I I I doing the very simple.、Mm. Uh, just use the like a candle, just the、mm. candle stick, a triangle,、mm. stick, and then just uh sing on the mantra, the six syllables mantra, mm. Mm. and do the dedications. But, okay.、Uh, yeah. Okay. So quite similar. Any visualization? Uh. There's no visualization. visualization. No, it's just like getting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you have <laughs> no visualization. Okay, yeah. Okay, so because it's Vajrayana, there's going to be visualization with smoke offering in Bhutan.、Uh, okay.、Um, yeah. Okay.、Uh, yeah, this is the one idea. Any other ideas? Any other?、Uh, what would you? What would you? Like to do. I mean, if we do the smoke offering, then some people can just rest and listen to the smoke offering,、um, do some teaching. But I'll be doing the smoke offering practice, right, for your benefit and all sentient beings' benefit. So it won't be so participatory. It'll be quite participatory, but not that participatory, unless you're going to learn Tibetan in your lunch break.、Um, so any, just I hear that's a lovely idea. I love doing smoke offering, but what? Any other ideas? I want to hear from everybody in terms of them、uh, for the last session.、Uh, actually, if I say because at home I have one tone,、uh, maybe I don't mind. Maybe I later I bring it up, bring it、Should、here. Bring a smoke offering, uh, equ- uh, the ritual,、uh, the ritual the equipment. Yeah. You mean you have the container? Yeah. They, they are passed down. Is 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 So some smoke offering container,、uh, right? Yeah. Is it a is it a rong rong qi? Ma, you have that with you. One kind of rong qi, one kind of rong qi, right? 
，不是不是不是不是，啊，不是那种盘的，就好像我们放那个烟香的哈、啊啊，那种陶的那种哈，烧香炉这样子的。我这边的可以，我们这边这可以用吗？ Yeah, like this. Uh, yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah, you have that with you. I, I actually, do I can bring it here yeah. also can. Okay, so. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, I just want to make sure I don't want everybody else to not be happy with that suggestion. So please say other suggestions or smoke offering. You can go yes or no. Nothing worries me, so I'm not, I'm not going to be offended, right? So um, I, I need some feedback from the disciples. So, uh, 法师想听你们的看法，你们的呃意见。所以，我们有呃烟供为呃呃，你们有。可是除了烟供，我们我们也可以看看其他东西。老师，法师要看你们有没有其他的呃需求。或者兴趣，哦，我兴。莫什么什么，大家呢？啊，的的的萨纳，的的的。什么什么？没有没有没有，萨纳，的全日制萨纳。Yeah, the Vajrana Sadhana. Okay, yeah. So so far, two people are coming this afternoon. One of them doing smoke offering. One of them doing Vajrana. What's happening with the rest of you? Yeah. You want to do the vagina? Okay. Smoke offering is disappearing out the window. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hear a thing. Oh, I can't hear. Sorry. Remember, I'm very old. I'm 140 years old. I can't, I can't hear you. Yeah, uh, good morning. Mm. I'd like to know more about the preciousness I, a human being with eight freedoms and ten advantages. Oh, what yeah. are the eight freedoms and ten? Oh, you'd like to know about that? Okay, yeah, we can definitely uh, think about that. That's we can do that with either of these options. Okay. You, you wanted to do the sadhana. You seem to be saying you want to do the sadhana. Okay. Only option I come back to Malaysia. What else, sir? Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's true, like in Parliament. Yeah, like in the European Parliament. Okay. But what if I want both? <laughs> okay. Right, so most people want to do the Vajrayana Sadhana again. Is it, seems like, or not? Lawrence? To do the Vajrayana Sadhana again. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, so if there's a next time, the next time we do the smoke offering, yeah? And do you have the symbols for the smoke offering? Oh, so next time you get some symbols? Anybody, if we do smoke offering together, you bring your symbols, yeah? yeah? Then we make a nice smoke offering together, yeah? Yeah. So you don't have to learn Tibetan in your lunch break? <laughs> All right, so rest now, because if you're going to do the Vajrayana Sadhana again, it's, it's intense, it's powerful stuff, it's powerful practice. So please rest now, okay? Uh, so that you can be fresh for the practice. Yeah. 啊，所以所以好好休息，因为这个成就法是一个很大的法门，就是所以大家在啊、呃、休息时间好好的啊、呃、充啊对 ，recharge 你们的 battery。Yeah, recharge your battery. Okay, so let's dedicate the merit of with what we've done in this session with the general dedication prayer. Thinking of all sentient beings.、Uh, so you know how to place the sentient beings around your body now, yeah, into limitless space. Remember, yeah, okay. 
By this merit, may all beings obtain omniscience. May it defeat the enemy which is wrongdoing. May all beings be freed from the ocean of samsara with its stormy waves of birth, old age, sickness, and death. 以此功德正变之,无有敌障诸为缘,愿众生出轮回海,离生老病死波涛. Okay, good. And as always, if you have any more remaining questions or things, you can always put them on a piece of paper here, in Chinese as well as English. You know, and if you have questions in Chinese, you can always directly ask Ray and he'll then speak to me and everything will be fine. All right, have a lovely lunch. Yeah. Bye.